Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mario PG. I hope you're having an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And today we are back playing t -t 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 Rails of Cold Steel. And uh, I thought I'd start the screen here for anyone who's watching, and this is, you know, they've never played. Excuse me, they've never played the game, but they're watching alongside me. Look how cool this is. Also, this is my favorite uh, OST from the. This is my favorite song from the game so far. But yeah, I thought this was really cool that the, the, the more characters you meet and get in your party, uh, they show up on the train. So it's really, really a cool idea. Anyway, let's game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 22 hours and 40 minutes. We've almost... By the end of today, it's... How long am I going to be on? Probably around two hours. We should hit... The 24-hour mark. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No. Yeah, I was going to say. Wait. Yeah, I've already hit the 20 28 hours. We'll hit We'll hit 30 hours of gameplay today. Love to see it. Let's go. Oh, we're at a really important stage as well. Because I literally just ended as we were going to continue the main story. Okay. We've got our water. Let's do it. Um, we'll probably start off with a quick... NPC uh, blitz through to see if anyone's got anything for us. Chad, Chad. Okay, all the commoners are just... Uh, not commoners. Nobles are just meeting each other. Come on, your name's Saffron. Surely you're going to give me a recipe, like a saffron pie. I don't know what the hell saffron is. S spice, I think. Uh, okay, nothing going on here. Where am I going? Let's have a little look-see at our... Wait! Oh, it's fish. I thought it was with recipes. Uh, okay. Okay. We've still only got three recipes. Um, where are we looking? Quests. Here we go. Hassan! Oh, yeah, we've got to go see Hassan. We've got him the bath salts. We'll go do that first. So let's go deliver the bath salts to Hassan. Um, and then... We've done the Dryad tier. Once a month has been... Please report to the soldiers at Oryx 4. Right, have we done this? There is a tick next to it. So, all we do is go back to... Hassan, that's it. Which I'm pretty sure is this way. Yeah, here he is. Oh, Puppers. Oh, his name's Richard. Oh. Oh, Lord Deuces, might I assume that you've... Uh... That's correct. Here. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Allow me to hand this over as your reward. Then. Ooh, okay. Refusing to accept it would be rather rude, I suppose. Thank you very much. Apologies for our rudeness earlier. Kind of amazing how much their attitude has changed for uses. Well, there's no denying the influence this family holds here. Bath salts! Wait. Never mind. Uh, okay. Oh, Hotel Esmeralda. We've got to end the night, I believe. Let's have a little look-see at what we have gotten recently. I wish I could press R1 here and it would go, go to different characters, if that makes sense. Uh, okay. Nothing good for you. Nope. 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 No. Okay. Uh, we got something called a silver hourglass. This prevents faint. ATS and speed. I think that's perfect for you. Are you our speed guy? I know you're our speed girl. Wait. Yeah, you're our speed girl, but I don't know if you're going to be endgame. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, um, actually... Yes. Let's give you some more speed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm absolutely fine with that. Hmm. 
you're not as good as a tank as I thought you would be. But you're not really at your max yet. So I'm assuming you are going to get much stronger. Um, have we got any new quartz that I've missed or anything? Man, we have a lot of quartz. Eventually this is going to get overwhelming, I can tell. But for now, let's just keep it how it is. And let's go to Hotel Esmeralda and continue the story. Yes. What the hell? That's... Father? Huh? What? Oh, here he is. I have a feeling this guy's gonna be a dick. Let's we'll find out. Terribly sorry for not coming to greet you, father. Although I'm here but for a short time, I use this have returned to Enough! As I informed Rufus, you may do as you wish while you're here. However, you will do nothing that brings shame upon myself, nor upon the Alderaer name. Please be ever mindful of your position and what you represent. Y yes, Father. Um, would it be too much to ask for you to introduce yourself to my class? I have no time for pleasantries. Should I require anything of you, you will be contacted. Damn. I knew it. I just knew it. I knew it. It makes sense on why Eustace is the way he is. Oh, God. What was that all about? B, that's not really... Oh, it was the all my could do Calmaria, was it? The head of one of the four great houses and the man in charge of this entire province. Indeed. And by some strange twist of fate, my father as well. Eustace? <clears throat> I, I've spoken out of turn. F forget I said that. Today's workload has made me hungry. Should we return to our rooms? Then find something to eat. Sounds good to me. Uh, I'm starving. At this point, Reen and the others return to their rooms for a much needed shower. Hopefully separately. Uh, then after a short rest, they headed to a restaurant in the central plaza for dinner. Oh, look at that sky. Love the look of this area. Like that's that's my kind of like cafe slash restaurant. <sighs> the breeze here feels wonderful. <laughs> the food was delicious too. Agreed. <laughs> I can see why this restaurant is popular with the nobles. Do you dine here often, Eusis? I do. The chef has been good to me since I was a child. I was practically raised on this food. How typical. Even in your dining habits, you nobles subsist on unnecessary luxury. My guess is that chef was basically his, like, nanny, I guess is what I'm thinking. Like, his dad basically just jumped, dumped him here, kept him with the chef. Though I can't deny the quality of the food. It wasn't just tasty, but warm, too. Yes, for a high-class restaurant, the chef seems to have used a lot of very healthy ingredients. Perhaps he's doing his part to ensure Yusis stays in good health. I wouldn't doubt it. I, I wonder what Group B is doing right now. <laughs> we had this exact same conversation in our group last month, too. I'm sure they're hard at work over in St. Ark. Probably nothing to worry about. It was Keldic for you last month, right? So you were thinking of us on the first night? I think about you every night. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, yes. Yeah. After dinner, we were wondering how Group B was getting on. Dare I ask? Uh, well... Nowhere near as peacefully as now. This is a big improvement. I... kind of figured that much. We are doing much better this time, that much is true. Huh, and I'm sure our reports will reflect that. It is an improvement, though I'm not convinced it's good enough. It, it's not? You guys failed your link. I'm certain Group B gave their absolute best in all of their tasks today. But can we honestly say the same? That we could have done no better? 
and I'm referring not just to the monster encounter, but to the handling of our other tasks as well. What? Hmm. I did all my tasks, right? We'll just have to try and make up for it in the day we have left. Besides, we had the chance to catch sight of a far bigger problem. Yes, that's true. First we find out taxes are rising throughout the province, then we find out the military is being expanded on a grand scale. Don't even try to tell me the two aren't related. I have no intention of denying it. But you're only looking at one side of the coin. Mm. Exactly how many Oxen tanks do you think the Imperial Army has under their control? Well... A hundred or two, I'd guess. Precisely. The Imperial Army's military capabilities are enormous. This nation has one of the most powerful armed forces on the continent, and roughly 70% of it is under the Chancellor's control. Tell me, how is the Noble Alliance supposed to counter that? Damn. So you're suggesting that's why the Provincial Army needs to bolster its forces? Considering both sides are comprised of Erebonians, it all seems so wasteful. Yep. Ah, oh, the travails of youth. Oh, God. How noble and beautiful they are. I voice acted him perfectly. Let's go. It's you. Pegasus. Baron Blue Blanc, I believe. Great name. It's such an honor that you would remember a mere baron. I see you've completed a hard day's work already. How splendid! Yes, nearly. What about you? Alas, I have yet to be blessed with the fateful encounter I seek. The search for beauty is filled with perils and obstacles, yet that is precisely what makes it all so beautiful. I wonder how he's voice acted in, in other languages. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. <laughs> I most certainly will. What the hell is that, Mickey Mouse? Though it truly is a pity that the clear air of this verdant city should be tinged, if but faintly, with the scent of steel. <laughs> I'd heard that Duke Alborea was a man of many interests, but I was unaware he counted playing with fire among them. I don't condemn him for it, though, for only by playing with fire can one create fireworks. Would you not agree, my friends? I don't like your implications. And I think this whole line of conversation is a little inappropriate. Oh, please do pardon me, young lady. I meant no harm, I assure you. I wish you well on your remaining day here. May you reveal to me the beauty I seek by its end. Be it the lovely luster of success or the sad splendor of failure. Great voice acting. Success. <sighs> Who does he think he is? This is why I can't stand nobles. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If it makes you feel better, though, I have my doubts as to whether that man truly is a noble to begin with. What? His behavior seems so exaggerated. Almost as if he's trying to act like the quintessential noble. Like he's fulfilling the stereotype. Yeah, something about him feels off to me, too. But what's even stranger... is that he knew we only have one day left here. It, you're right. We told him of our field study, but never once did we divulge how long we intended to remain here. Maybe like, uh, Sarah's got him to look up, look up, look on, on, look up on us. Watch, keep an eye on us. Between him and that silver object, We've been crossing paths with a lot of strange people today. Well, tomorrow's the end of our stint here. We can't let ourselves get distracted. We still have a lot to do. That's right. We have to do our group proud. <laughs> exactly. We should return to the hotel and begin work on our reports then. Okay.
very interesting events are happening. The story seems to be progressing. We're learning a lot about the world, what's going on. I'm intrigued. Can't tell who that is. Is that Reen? This uses. <sighs> Can't get to sleep. I could ask you the same. <laughs> Little bit creepy there, Reen. Little bit creepy. <laughs> you aren't going to tell me the bed's too hard for you, are you? Little bit creepy there, useless. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I've never slept in a bed this high class in my life. Not even back at home. And yet you're the son of Baron Schwarzer. You've not lived the life one might expect of a boy from a noble family. Yeah. That's just how my dad is. A lord should live like his people, not above them. That's how he always put it. Damn. That's a good dad right there. Watch his dad be like the worst human in the game. But hey, that's a good that's a good motto. A lord should live like his people, not above them. Great saying. I see. It sounds as though you have a good family. Yeah, I'm very thankful for my upbringing. Aren't you going to ask? Dramatic music plays. I assumed you'd be curious about that brief exchange with my father earlier. And watch this whole time. Makina is probably awake. He's going to have his eyes open and listening in. I wasn't really sure you'd want me to bring that up. You obviously get along really well with your brother, but I didn't get that same sense with the Duke. Has he always been like that? As far back as I can remember. I suppose he just has little respect for a son born to a commoner. Wait, what? What? Oh, he's a player, huh? My brother and I have different mothers. He was born of my father's legal wife, a noble who still lives to this day. My own mother, however, was a commoner, and she passed away eight years ago. Oh. In other words, I am his bastard son. He's literally Jon Snow. I had no idea. So, was that chef we met earlier? He's my uncle, on my mother's side. Oh, okay. Perhaps that's why he's always been so good to me. Or perhaps he's simply compelled to treat me as I deserve to be treated, being the son of the Duke. No, that can't be. I don't blame you for being a little cynical, but there's no need to be quite so hard on yourself. I suppose you're right. I'm... I'm sure you have your differences. But you do get along with your brother, right? You could say that. He's treated me well ever since I was taken in eight years ago. He was the one who taught me my swordsmanship, and who trained me in the ways of court etiquette. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I knew it. Pardon? There's just something honest, I guess you could say, about the way you fight. It shows that whoever taught you was someone you really trusted. When we first met him this afternoon, I had a hunch he might have been the one. What's wrong? <laughs> Look at his character's head there. It just looks weird. <laughs> I don't know. That looks so funny to me. <laughs> Nothing at all. You just keep reminding me how... Unlike a noble, you truly are. <laughs> I get that a lot. I like green. Huh. 
Is your injury from this afternoon on the mend? It's fine, honestly. There's no pain, and the wound's closed up like it was never there. I'll have to be sure to thank Emma's grandmother for her help someday. That's good to hear. Still, from where I stand, you are something of a danger to yourself. I... am? On the day of the entrance ceremony, when the trap door opened beneath us, you acted instantly to protect Elisa. There wasn't even a moment's hesitation. Yeah, and he didn't care for his own safety. Ah. In most cases, one would reflexively act to protect himself. It's part of man's natural survival instinct. Yet you put another before yourself, not even pausing to question the validity of that decision. And you did exactly the same thing with us today. I'm sure most people would see that as an act of selflessness and sing your praises for it. But to me, it comes across as abnormal, perhaps even twisted. Bro, this is, this is some great, uh, it's so good for you, sis, to finally open up. Interesting character. This is some great writing as well. <laughs> I, uh, don't know how to respond to that. I wasn't expecting you to see through me quite so clearly. It's a fair point as well. Well, I owed you as much for having seen through me first. <laughs> Still, the point stands. You need to be more cognizant of the effects your actions have on those around you. Eusus is sounding uh, a little bit like he cares, which is, which is good. If not for your health and for your reputation, that selflessness of yours can just as easily be perceived as arrogance, after all. I know it can, and you're not the first person to tell me that. What's the point in saving others if you can't spare even a moment to save yourself? That's what my old master always used to say to me. Was it now? <laughs> Smile. I suppose we both have some things we need to work through. Yeah, but for now, we need to get a good night's sleep. If we stay up too late tonight, we're going to be dead to the world tomorrow, and that wouldn't be fair to the others. <laughs> I agree, it wouldn't be fair. To the girls, at least. <laughs> I'm telling you, Matt, it's got it's gonna pan out and Makina's awake. Come on. I'd hate to be so tired as to limit my potential. Here, here. Good night, Eusis. Pleasant Aww. dreams. Aww. Wait for it. I'm a genius! I'm a genius. Let's go. I'm proud of that one. Very, very... Listen, it was kind of obvious, right? It was kind of obvious. <clears throat> it doesn't mean it's bad. Sometimes in shows, movies, games, whatever, sometimes you want the obvious to happen. Do you know what I mean? Think of Game of Thrones, for example. Wouldn't it have been better if... Well, spoilers, spoilers. Wouldn't it have been better if, you know, it had the ending we wanted instead of the ending that we got? See what I'm saying? I'm actually... I'm glad that... Anyway. I'm a genius, is basically what I'm trying to say. That was a really, really good scene. One of my favorite scenes of the game so far. That, like, great... Ooh, gr you're ooh. moving up in the world. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Let's go! Great writing when it, um... Great character writing when, as I said at the beginning, I don't like Machina and I didn't like Yusis, but now, just after that, he isn't so bad. Yusis isn't so bad. You can see where he's coming from. I wonder I wonder how they're gonna turn me around when it comes to Machina. You know? Or maybe Machina's just gonna end up being the villain of the game or something. Who knows? We'll see, we'll see. Um we went up a rank. We are we are now rank B4. We were B5. I guess you could say we are a higher rank than before. Ah, <laughs> uh, we have fun here. We have fun. Keep up the good work.
Here is the envelope Lord Rufus entrusted to me. Please take it and study its contents well. Okay. Thank you. If you'll excuse me then, should you require anything further, please do not hesitate. Let me know. Alright, let's see what my brother has given for us today. Yeah, I'm kind of anxious. Huh. Only two quests. Just like last time. And I'm assuming we're going to have like a surprise quest. Okay. The Bite of Nostalgia. Hammond! I'd like to request someone's help in gathering a number of ingredients. I need to make a particularly nostalgic dish. For more details, come find me at Sorcerie, a restaurant in the Central Plaza. Hopefully we get to learn a recipe. That'd be great. Uh, the North Croizen Highway Monster. Manager, Richelieu. We've received word that a dangerous monster roams the North Croizen Highway. This is bad news for our hotel, so um, I'm, may I ask someone to please take care of it? The monster is a Venus man trap. <laughs> what a great name. What a great name. And uh, location, the stone bridge leading towards Seldic on the North Croydon Highway. I really hope that the monster's like just <laughs> super like, how do I explain this? Not sounding weird. You know what? Never mind. But if it, if it is like, you know, a super hot looking monster, like kind of like a, is it a succubus? I'm thinking that would be smart. That would be really smart. Another well-balanced assortment. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Rufus had predicted what happened yesterday from the very start. You're saying he intended to give us a first-hand look at the problems between the nobles and the commoners? Phew, that's true, I'm impressed. His reputation is well earned. It sure does seem that way. I believe that's enough talk about my brother. We have only one day left before we must depart on our return voyage to Trista. We should set out as... Eustace Alborea. What is it, Machias Regnitz? I will accept no more failures. Today, we will form a combat link. What? As much as I may dislike you, I'm ashamed that we were unable to do what every other member of our class has accomplished. Today's monster extermination request seems as good a chance as any to make up for yesterday's failure. What did you say? Good thinking. You really are simple-minded, aren't you? Never mind. I suppose you overheard our conversation last night and feel some kind of affinity toward me now? Oh, damn! Okay, that I didn't expect. That's a curveball right there. Nonsense! I did no such thing! I was fast asleep while you yammered on about your family and Reen and... Oh, you idiot. Duh. Machias. <laughs> That's pretty conclusive. <sighs> <laughs> Very well. I accept. I'll be happy to show you what a proper combat link looks like. <laughs> we'll see about that. Hey, listen. Now it's starting to sound like some good old-fashioned competitiveness. And no hatred behind it. Progress, ladies and gentlemen. Progress. Fortunately, I have more than enough generosity of spirit to endure being paired with an arrogant noble like you. Never mind. Forget everything I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe today's field study will go more smoothly than yesterday's after all. Damn, Emma, you are looking mighty fine today. Lord Eusus. Arno? What brings you here? I would have expected you to be at my father's side. I'm terribly sorry I could not greet you upon your arrival yesterday. However, I have come today in the capacity of an escort. An escort? To where? I'm sure you must be aware that I returned to Bereahard purely as part of a field study for my academy work. But of course, however, His Grace has directly requested that I escort you to the mansion. So, I would be most appreciative if you'd accompany me without delay. Father? He showed no signs of desiring my company when we spoke yesterday. I am in no position to question or oppose his orders, merely to obey them. I'm sure you understand. Though while I hesitate to speculate, 
I do wonder if His Grace may feel some regret regarding his demeanor yesterday. Oh. I... I uh, but... Go with him. We can attempt to form a combat link another time. Oh. We'll be able to handle the morning's tasks just fine on our own. Don't worry about us. Ha! Huh. You've come all the way back to your hometown. It would be a shame not to visit with your family, right? Agreed. Uh, are you certain? Very well. I'll return this afternoon. And though I will worry as to how you'll fare without me, I know you'll at least give it your best, for what that's worth. <laughs> of course we will. All right. Let's meet back in the hotel lobby around noon. If something comes up, just leave a message at the front desk. Understood. Lead the way, Arno. Gladly, sir. Please excuse us. And you've got to love the curveballs the game keeps throwing at us. You've got to well, love it. let's get started. We wouldn't want to give Yusus any further reason to worry, now would we? Just as I said, you know, when we, when, uh... Machina w was listening, I assumed that, I guessed that. It was kind of obvious. But I had no idea that Yusus was going to leave. And that, that he'd also know that Machina was listening. Very, very cool stuff. Love to see it. Huh, certainly not. Still... <laughs> what? What is it? If you have something to say, just say it. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. She's probably thinking, the worst is over, and it's all thanks to your eavesdropping. Good boy. <laughs> Just stop that! Just stop looking at me like I'm some hapless babe! Rain, you do know I still haven't completely forgiven you for lying, don't you? Are you still hung up on that? And Emma, I hope you're ready to score second on our midterms because I'm not about to lose to you again! But don't even think about giving those exams any less than your very best. I intend to best you when you're in top form. Okay, and what about Fee? <laughs> you will? And as for you, Fee, I've been wanting to say this for a long time now. Sleeping in class is an affront to our education. Okay. You need to start treating classes more seriously. Listen, take proper notes. Raise your hand now and then. And stop covering your ears when I'm talking to you! I can't hear you! Okay. <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to do, so how about we get to it? <laughs> right. Oh, back, back in is so weird. Yusus temporarily left the pie.